drug offenses that that chemist did the analysis. The defense lawyers had to file motion after motion to even bring clients before the court to get this, the case dismissed or to get discovery about what happened in that case. Judge Kerry wrote a 125 page decision releasing 15 or 20 people and, and the Hamden County District Attorney's Office with her in a charging position did not. I would have asked her about Sergeant Victor who got accused of beating up a minor. The District Attorney's Office refused to charge him. They refused to give information to defense lawyers. I would have asked her about the 13 police officers that are under indictment in uh, Hamden County right now. And for a long period of time, the Hamden County District Attorney's Office with her as senior supervisor refused to charge those officers. The Attorney General's Office finally had to move in there recently and charge them all in indictment. And, and more importantly, while those that allegation about the 13 were pending, and while the allegation about the, the, uh, the Sergeant Victor was pending, they allowed those officers to testify in court as witnesses and refused to provide the exculpatory evidence to the defense counsel about what they had done. I would have asked her about the case of Commonwealth versus Shazam refused to take any action against the officers that beat this man terribly before he was taken into custody. All the while claiming that he started the fight when they knew that a video of that incident was in the possession of the prosecutors showing this man did nothing to those police officers. I would have asked her about those things because she was the chief prosecutor and the chief prosecutor has the ability uh, to order and tell every single person under her how to conduct themselves and what discovery. Discovery is given from the top, not from the bottom, from the top. I would have asked her, had she made any statements to people in that office that this position that she said, now I don't want it, that this position was going to be nothing more than an advancement to a judgeship in a year. And I was, I would, I would hope she wouldn't say no. That's what I would have asked. Her. So, to me, you don't get mad at counselors because they don't vote for your nominee. You don't get mad with counselors because they have a different opinion than other people have. That's not what this is about. Forget everything I just said about this woman. The makeup of that board is important. Paroles are down. People are languishing in those cells at a tremendous cost to the citizens of this commonwealth. Other states, southern states, are releasing people. There's a southern state that brings people in without even being asked and decides whether or not, because they're charged with drug offenses, marijuana in particular, whether they should even be held anymore. And they are releasing them. That's what should be happening here. <clears throat> For anybody sitting in a cage that is a nonviolent person, they should be brought before the parole board and released. Unless they're involved in something that is bad, that they're a danger to somebody. Put them on a bracelet and send them home. Makeup's got to change. I do applaud the governor and, and your honor for, for uh, this honor. It's a start, but it doesn't change anything. It's still going to be a 5 2 book. So I think we've got to work harder than changing anything. And thank you for your time. I'd okay. like to have the last word. Councilor Turner. First of all, I'm going to let the tape. I'm sorry? I'm not going to have the last word. First of all, I am going to um, indicate that I invite anybody and everybody 
to listen to that tape and to listen to the way I was screamed at by Councilor Juvenile, Councilor Devaney, and Councilor Ionella. Screamed at, ordered how to conduct the hearing. You folks were there. You heard it. You saw it. It was, it was outrageous that anybody would be treated like that. As far as Karen McCarthy is concerned, she's not the district attorney. She follows marching orders from the district attorney. The district attorney investigated that case involving the 13 police officers and did not have the evidence that was available and invited the attorney general to investigate that case. In addition, a letter was written by Alexander Ramos that was referenced by one of the people who testified, trying to cast aspersions on Karen McCarthy. Karen McCarthy <coughs> never had a case with Alexander Ramos. Judge Carey is a superior court judge. Karen McCarthy <coughs> is a district court prosecutor. She never had a case. She was never involved in any of those cases. And her job is to be the one to train the young DAs in the district court and to make decisions about cases that come before the prosecutors of the district court. So she has been maligned here today. In addition to which, Lucy Soto Abbott and Karen McCarthy have been friends for years. Lucy Soto Abbott called Karen McCarthy, and I am her governor's counsel, and I suggested to Karen, after what she told me about her meeting with Councillor Devaney, and how Councillor Devaney just worships the ground that Lucy Soto Abbott walks on, I suggested to her, talk to Lucy, see if she's willing to make a call to let her know what a good person you are. That's how that happened. And if you listen to the tenor of that letter, I suggest to you there was some grace. And perhaps rightfully so. But that's not why we're here today. I would stand to applaud the nomination of Charlene Bonner. I understand the message that you were sending. I simply got sick to my stomach with the treatment that Karen McCarthy got. And the fact that she was a white woman prosecutor was brought, brought up over and over again in that hearing, in questions to witnesses, including the judge who was there in support of her, including the uh, dean of the defense bar that was there in support of her, including a black clerk, assistant clerk, who was there in support of her. And they all said what a wonderful person she was. And all she wanted to do was have a chance to do a different job and to do it as well as she has done every job that she has had. So to malign her by talking about cases where she is not the one who makes the judgment, she is not the fool, she's not the one who indicts these people or doesn't indict them, is unfair. Take a look and listen. Take a listen to that tape and tell me that I was not yelled at, screamed at, and badgered about when I was going to adjourn that meeting, about when or if it could be continued to another day. Every time I brought something up that I was going to do, these three yelled and screamed in my ear. We don't want, we don't need to go any further. We're not going to ask any questions. So here somebody sits for five hours. Nobody in this room knows anything more about her now than that the time that that hearing started, because she never had a chance to say anything other than to present her remarks. And if I had to say, as a matter of fact, I did cry. But there's only two reasons why I cry. And I'm very, very sad, like I am today, and I'm very, very mad, which I am today. And I urge the other counselors to vote in favor of her nomination. No, no. I have to oh, 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 o
I'll meet you downstairs. I would like to get, if it exists, a list of all the people who spoke against. I'm going to run up to the post. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Uh, it's either, I think it's Patrick's, but I'm not sure. Give that other copy I think, to Mary. I think that what happened here today. Was I don't know who she is. That's my opinion. I told you about that short term memory problems. It's getting worse. <laughs> it's okay to disagree. It's dementia. It's okay to get mad. I agree. I agree. So I agree. And, and, and let's see what the next one is. Let's see. 
And if it worked, you might have a different opinion as to whether it was worth it. So far, so far. They said they were going to be a little bit more pure, but that's fine with you there. Those are some of the things that they said. And I'm also good on the last one during the school year. I actually have a thing that's good that I don't know. Yeah, I'm good. I know that, but 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 it, but, but you know, I understand it. I get that. I, no, I get that. I agree with you. But, but, but it's a step. It's, it's a step. But I'm saying you're the No, I agree. We also we only have one afternoon. Okay. How many afternoons? It's all on YouTube. You can go watch it. Yeah. I put it up. You put all of it up. Yep. All five hours. <laughs> Almost ran out of the battery. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the downstairs. Get that phone. Ah.